Ok. Centriamo tutti. Mettete di là. Uh, hi there. Hi. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Thank you to be here on this stage. Welcome. I'm Matteo, part of the EU team. This is Andrea. Hi. This is Jessica. Hi. And this is Giovanni. And, uh, <laughs> and this is Luca. Hi. Uh, for those who don't know who, what is uh, you do, and I hope uh, there are not uh, many of us, <laughs> you do is a low cost single board who can run uh, an Android and Linux uh, and uh, with an Arduino uh, board uh, embedded. And uh, uh, with this presentation, uh, we were going to show you some uh, uh, demos and stuff uh, to uh, exciting <laughs> you a lot, but uh, unfortunately, we were not able to do that, but uh, it's going to be uh, good as well. I hope so. And uh, uh, the people you see here on this stage, uh, sorry, I just uh, needed the, the switch. Yeah. Yeah. This has the people you see here on this stage, uh, just five of us, uh, that's not just uh, <laughs> the Jidu team, uh, but it's uh, a few of uh, our 30, 35 um, crowded, uh, uh, spread all uh, around the world. Uh, we are basically a um, joint effort of two, of two companies. Uh, it's uh, ID Lab, it's an interaction design company located in uh, Siena. And um, Seco is a um, hardware company located in uh, Arezzo, Italy, and uh, Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, these uh, two companies uh, are in collaboration with uh, a, multidis a multidisciplinary uh, team in uh, spread in Europe and uh, North uh, America, um, in uh, Aarhus, Denmark, uh, San Diego, uh, Pittsburgh, uh, Toronto, and uh, Boston. The vision uh, of uh, Udo essentially means uh, the Internet uh, of Things. Uh, uh, what does that mean? Uh, it means that we think that open software and uh, the open hardware shouldn't be separated anymore. And uh, with Udo, these two ideas meet together to create any kind of project uh, like the Internet of Things software. Uh, Internet of Things says it. Any kind of uh, object software and stuff like that but uh, let's back it up a little and uh, what's the idea who started everything what's the idea who you for you do why you do born let's see so yeah so yeah <laughs> Well, the, the idea of you do was born last year during uh, an informal meeting between uh, some people from Heidi Lab and Seco, as uh, Matteo said. And uh, we were thinking about the difficulties that students have in uh, creating interactive prototypes. They have just Arduino and Raspberry Pi that meeting together, they have the functionality of uh, uh, Arduino, but they don't have the, the power. So, um, we were thinking about something that can bring together, that can, um, um, that can be together to, uh, to, um, to develop more, uh, more easily some prototypes. Um, Arduino, as I said, um, you know, it's the one of the most famous open source single board that, uh, sold, um, that sold uh, 500,000 units in 2012, and we estimate 1 million in uh, uh, this year. Raspberry Pi, you know, is a little credit card uh, single board computer that was developed here in the uh, UK, and we estimate 1 million units milestone for this year. So we have the idea to combine the, the power of the uh, ARM computer based on Freescale IMX6 processor with an Arduino compatible hardware in uh, just one single board. So uh, during the same day, the project started and the name was Udo. Uh, Udo is not just a single Raspberry Pi with an Arduino Due, but it uh, combines the power of four Raspberry Pi with Arduino Due, with the flexibility of Arduino Due in uh, the board Udo. So uh, we can go on and see some, uh, some uh, how, how we reach the world, how Udo reaches the world. Uh, yes. 
we started uh, with a Kickstarter campaign in uh, April uh, this year. And uh, thanks to this, uh, of course, uh, uh, we got the money to start the project. But more important for us, uh, we get in touch with our uh, final user before uh, even the product uh, was uh, started to develop. So we got uh, a lot of feedback from them. Uh, and uh, uh, very you can't imagine how many messages uh, we got uh, from Kickstarter users about implementing new features <laughs> we, didn't, uh, to we didn't think about. <coughs> so these, uh, um, these are our um, uh, milestones and uh, we are really proud uh, about uh, uh, the goal we reached uh, in just three days of uh, uh, 27k and uh, in a campaign that uh, lasts for 60 days we got uh, a final uh, uh, found uh, uh, goal of uh, more than uh, 600 uh, uh, 6000 sorry <laughs> dollars and uh, we got uh, covered uh, by the media a lot uh, thanks to kickstarter and uh, as i said uh, we uh, this, these are the results on kickstarter and these are the all the, the uh, different prototypes we made uh, during the kickstarter campaign this was possible thanks to the bakers, as I said, because uh, they asked for new features and uh, um, we were able to implement that feature in uh, each release, uh, for example, uh, SPDIF for uh, digital audio, uh, we implemented uh, a more advanced Wi-Fi module following the request of the users. Some new features uh, that we didn't think about, uh, like the possibility of uh, uh, communicating uh, between the two processors, not uh, only uh, on the direction uh, of the uh, ARM processor to the Arduino processor, but also from the Arduino processor to the ARM processors. This is very uh, useful in uh, um, energy power application when you don't have uh, uh, a power plug, for example, with battery application. And uh, okay, let's see you in details about uh, hardware uh, features. Uh, as I said, we have two processor: one uh, uh, RAM processor from Freescale. It's a dual or quad code processor, and uh, one uh, uh, Sam Trix processor, the, the the same of Arduino. We have the same uh, pinout of Arduino Duo on board. HDMI, LVDS, and a touchscreen connector for screens. Uh, we have a, a Wi-Fi module, uh, Ethernet, uh, two mini uh, USB for OTG and serial purposes, and uh, two USB Type A. Uh, audio uh, input and output, uh, analog and digital, both. Connection for SATA drive and uh, camera. And of, of course, uh, the operating system run on micro SD. Here they are the features again. And uh, uh, for example, we uh, plan uh, just uh, two USB uh, plug. Uh, and after receiving feedback from our bakers, we decided to add another one. So actually, we are three. We have three USB. And uh, this is the final product. Uh, we are working uh, on uh, s mm, uh, operative system developing. At the moment, uh, uh, Linaro is at its final stage. Uh, uh, it's ready to work on the board. But we have several beta testers working with us that are working on uh, uh, Yocto, Debian, Arch Linux, and of course, Android. And uh, for um, helping us to developing the board, we ask uh, to a community of beta tester to uh, give us some uh, suggestions about uh, prototypes and new ideas that we can implement in this board. And uh, Matteo now is going to introduce you all the ideas that we got from them. Actually, it's Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's going to do the right job. So now you will see the, the first ideas we had when we decided to build uh, you do. Uh, we started with some, uh, some his idea is educational for kids because we thought that uh, now in 2013 it is really, really important that kids start to um, 
be uh, near uh, and understand early how to uh, program things. Uh, so you will see that uh, we are running uh, Scratch that uh, now is uh, under testing with uh, on our board. And children who easily uh, create the games uh, just plugging the, the board and starting to uh, to coding. Another kind of interesting thing is the Android Digital Teenage. Uh, we, were uh, we were thinking about how we can use the UDO in shops and something like that. Uh, you see the board is connected to a uh, LF RFID reader and uh, here is a shop where you can see uh, bags uh, and then putting the bag on the, on the table you will see how to wear this because inside the bag there is uh, an RFID and here there is a reader. So uh, that's just uh, some ideas. Another one is gamification. So everyone that is around you can be a controller. So you can just, uh, you have the, the keyboard and the mouse, you can uh, plug out this, just few codec line and you will have a new game with uh, some tiles or something you have around you. So uh, it's really easy and uh, we, we realize that and uh, I know we play with that <laughs> lots of time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see, <laughs> we, we started to play it at home and uh, it's really fun. Uh, another kind of thing is uh, automated technology. This is important in university. As you say, you do is an open hardware. So uh, university can uh, buy this, um, this uh, board and uh, use it for their lessons. Uh, on the community you will find all the codings uh, to help you to prepare lessons and to teach students. Uh, this is a ball on plate as you maybe know better than me. And uh, uh, this one is another kind of project that is with uh, Android docking. Uh, we just use the Arduino motor shield <coughs> to uh, connect the uh, the little uh, machine and uh, we put a camera on it uh, just to see what was happening at home when you maybe are in the office or maybe you are outside at home you see the camera you can connect with uh, Android and then you will be at the office and see what's happening at home if your uh, dog is well or not <laughs> and that's pretty easy to, to realize. <laughs> and another important thing is uh, digital urban furniture is uh, in the, uh, the field of IoT, as you know. Uh, here there is a project that is uh, really uh, existing in Monteroni, is a, a little village near Siena. And there is a, um, a furniture, a urban furniture, where you can interact with. Uh, uh, just with a uh, few gestures and uh, it is connected to internet so you can put your uh, music and everything you want inside uh, with internet and you can listen to it uh, or maybe with children you can listen the story so they can uh, just stay in the park and stay there. So now I leave uh, <laughs> to Matteo for other ideas. Yeah, uh, because... Sorry. That's the prototype uh, we, we realized uh, with the uh, do. but uh, what happened uh, when our beta tester actually got uh, the, the board uh, happened that uh, they're trying uh, to develop a prototype and uh, final product uh, with do, and one of these uh, is um, a 3D scanning drone which is uh, uh, will be able to do autonomously scan building inside places and this is a prototype uh, who uh, that uh, the University of Siena in the sci computer science department is trying to realize and uh, another fine example is uh, um, we are in contact with uh, Miller Puket uh, it's a beta tester actually our beta tester that he is trying uh, is trying to compile the pure data software for you do and uh, uh, with this one will allow this allows to create uh, any any kind of project uh, with it, especially in the music field. Of course, pure data it works in also in this field. And uh, another another prototype uh, that is going to uh, become a pro a product uh, hopefully in a few months. Uh, it's a um, uh, 3D printer based uh, thanks to the University of Florence. Uh, this is going to be developed at the University of Florence. Uh, 
It's uh, uh, a unit control uh, to the printer, so you don't need uh, to uh, plug a computer anymore to uh, send the project, but, but you, you can do it with, uh, with you do, so it's uh, quite uh, simple, simpler. And uh, another nice project is uh, the Open Energy Monitor. It's uh, a project developed uh, develop open source uh, energy monitoring tools uh, to help people to relate uh, to the use of the energy and um, um, uh, through this is uh, going to be realized uh, at the University of uh, Pisa in Italy and um, it's uh, we would like to create uh, greenhouses uh, that uses sustainable energy and uh, um, allow people to to improve their life hopefully <laughs> Yes, uh, another project that uh, we are working on uh, is uh, Music Match. Actually, Music Match is uh, an application uh, which can uh, um, f mm, find and show lyrics uh, while you are listening to your music, uh, web, web radio, for example. And uh, we have uh, a collaboration with the guys of Music Match in order to realize uh, um, a web radio with you do which can be able to run Android application, Music Match, uh, and uh, show on a little display the lyrics of the song you are listening. And uh, this is uh, at Italy, an event uh, that took place uh, in uh, Trieste, Italy, uh, in uh, July. Uh, there were uh, over 300 uh, acres uh, that uh, uh, worked uh, for 40 hours on, uh, on various projects. And uh, some of them decided uh, to hack you do. And uh, for example, uh, the, they were able to realize, um, uh, uh, you can see in the picture, uh, that electrical car. Uh, one of the projects uh, was about uh, giving a control unit uh, to the electrical car for uh, gathering data about uh, smog and sharing uh, how green uh, your drive is on the uh, social network. Uh, there were uh, something uh, who work uh, on a uh, uh, digital uh, uh, hi-fi station for uh, listening to music uh, mm -hmm. or uh, um, engaging uh, uh, alarm clock uh, uh, with uh, sound, light, uh, meteo information uh, and go on. Uh, okay. And uh, now uh, we wanted to show some demo on stage, uh, uh, which is more interesting than listening to us uh, talking. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but, uh, unfortunately, uh, we can't because uh, it was impossible to organize uh, all, all the things on stage. Uh, but if you want, we are in front of uh, the workshop area number three. And uh, we are... I think we have uh, the demos ready uh, to, yeah. to show. <laughs> But uh, uh, now we give uh, uh, a little explanation on, uh, in, w in words about our yeah, demo, if you course. want. So, mm. yeah, um, maybe with the also the help with our two engineers, maybe we can be more uh, dynamic. Uh, but um, uh, we wanted to show the um, the very basic of uh, the the um, the programmation is the basically you do that runs. Uh, um Ubuntu can run any kind of uh, programming languages such as Java, C and Python of course uh, so we uh, we were just uh, uh, wanted to open uh, any kind of documents uh, just write in a couple of lines of code uh, and uh, show you the output uh, uh, through terminal, uh, through um, text editor, through um, uh, a web server, anything uh, uh, that we, we could think about it uh, uh, can be you can by basically yeah. use you do like a normal computer. Yeah, it's a uh, full-fledged computer, so can uh, you do uh, you do itself uh, for doing y your program? Of course. And um, uh, the next uh, level, uh, it's uh, the blinking LED. Uh, so the uh, connection between uh, the IMX6 uh, processor to the SAM, uh, the, the Arduino side, and. Uh, what we were trying to do was simply to light on and off uh, uh, a, a LED connected to the ping of Arduino and uh, to do so we, uh, we wanted to, to enter of course in the terminal and uh, put in output uh, uh, one selected uh, GPIOs that we selected the number 13 okay it's not <laughs> relevant anymore and uh, once uh, we put the GPIOs in output uh, we can uh, uh, put it in high and low so we, when we put it in high, one, uh, the LED uh, uh, blink, and uh, in zero, the LED doesn't blink. And uh, we wanted to do it also with uh, code blocks, uh, so text edit, the ID. 
and uh, um, this uh, was a, there were a little bit of boost so with a while uh, uh, code uh, we uh, the blink was uh, automatic uh, <laughs> we just uh, uh, put the in the in input the gpios and um, the last example uh, uh, was to use the arduino the ide send the sketches to the um, the sam processor and uh, um, there was just one sketch who do three different kind of operation if you put uh, the gpios uh, in uh, the, the num one of the three GPIOs you use selected in uh, high, nothing uh, happens because uh, the all the external pins are in input. If you put the, the second GPIO, uh, it starts the automatic blinking. And uh, if you put the third GPIO in high, you, we are able to receive uh, the, the RGB channels. So we will be able to uh, use the LED stripes to show you <laughs> the the LEDs. So that means, in other words, that uh, uh, the pinout is connected to both the processor. Yep. So you can uh, control the GPIO uh, uh, with the Samtrix Arduino or CPU or with the IMX6 uh, ARM CPU. And uh, you can uh, uh, write and read uh, on the, on, uh, uh, the, uh, the Z GPIO from both processor. And this is very useful, uh, we Quite think, uh, for yeah. a communication uh, between uh, the, the two processors and also for more engaging application. It shows also the real power of uh, this board, uh, and <laughs> of course. And uh, the, the last thing we wanted to present you was uh, the demo we, we prepared, uh, that we it's ready on the in our desk. And it's a uh, very easy to do demo that shows uh, all the potentials of you do and uh, uses uh, basically everything I said uh, before. It was uh, uh, inside a database, uh, MySQL, uh, that stores the word, a PHP pages, uh, and a server Apache to show uh, the, the pages uh, loaded, a JavaScript that moves uh, the text uh, we prepared, and the app Android uh, who controls the text uh, and we wanted to you to, to download it and uh, use it uh, to change the words and the lights, but unfortunately we can't. And um, the, 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 the pages we developed, developed there were three, the word view that reads the words from uh, the database and the print them using a simple PHP script for the dynamic, dynamic effect of the letter, as I said before. The second one was set the word uh, that uh, received the variable in uh, get uh, and add them uh, directly to the database. And uh, the last one was set the set color that uh, received the three variables, uh, the RGB. And uh, once received, the variables uh, in the page uh, send the string through the serial uh, to the sum uh, and that communicate with the lab strips and uh, uh, will uh, ho uh, light on and off uh, the different colors okay. in the strip. Uh, I strongly recommend to come to visit yeah. us at the desk because <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't make re no really sense. So of course. come to, to see the demo live, of course. Yeah, we know it's really boring <laughs> in this way, but uh, if we uh, can't, uh, live coding uh, is uh, the idea uh, initial. But you also have the, sketch, uh, the Arduino sketch and the, the app Android, as I said before, that can change the words and the, and the lights. And then uh, we wanted to show some uh, um, Android... Uh, uh, stuff under the power in the yes, these demos. Uh, of course, there is a ADK connection implemented. Uh, that means that the two processor can communicate through the ADK protocol, and uh, it means also that uh, uh, you do is uh, an Android device uh, and also an Arduino accessor it, uh, embedded uh, itself. And we think this is very useful because um, a, a lot of people can do can. Um, program in Java so can make uh, their own Java, uh, Android application and then uh, through the ADK protocol communicate uh, with the Arduino and uh, we have a little demo uh, at our desk uh, if you want uh, which ca uh, you can of, uh, uh, control the LED strip uh, while uh, um, with, with gesture I mean uh, it's like uh, an image viewer on Android where you can uh, uh, swipe uh, the images with the gesture to uh, uh, proximity sensors and uh, there is uh, an algorithm running on Android uh, who can uh, uh, analyze the uh, image, uh, pick the, um, the colors uh, and uh, light the RGB strips according to the image. Yeah. And um, wha what we're trying to do uh, right now and was to show you all the demos, but also to uh, uh, make uh, 
understand how uh, the community is important to us. Without the community, of course, uh, you do uh, uh, doesn't exist. Uh, will not uh, will will cease to exist because we need a strong community, a strong uh, uh, people who works on it, who loves them. Uh, we right now have uh, a very large communities that uh, we, we love uh, and uh, hopefully they, they love us and uh, in uh, a few weeks we will be able to to release the the, the board so we hopefully uh, we hope to increase uh, this uh, community and uh, um, make uh, you do a, a more and more international thing any questions <laughs> thank you Any questions? Yes, over there. Over there. Yeah, the obvious question is uh, budget. How are the budget uh, matched up against the, the pie? Because, um, of course, that's part of their design considerations. And um, what particular market were you, were you aiming at? There is, of course, uh, uh, the educational market is very broad and there's plenty of room for, for, for uh, more um, operators. Um, and, of course, Industrially, there are very many uh, 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 boards um, which uh, all the chip manufacturers uh, uh, working, uh, making microcontrollers um, from Atmo through to, uh, I'm sure you know, there's very many uh, great ecology of them, uh, have uh, demonstration boards. So it's where, where are you viewing, what's your particular proposition? Where are you viewing the board as, as, as fitting? Okay, thank you. Uh, of course, the... The do, the do it yourself market uh, is one of our target uh, because uh, <coughs> we believe that uh, at the moment uh, there is not uh, uh, a product that uh, is able to be flexible like an Arduino but at the same time powerful as, uh, as a, 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 a smartphone because uh, uh, today's smartphones are uh, more powerful than boards uh, available on the market. I mean. The Raspberry Pi is uh, wonderful, is uh, <laughs> an amazing project, but it's not that powerful compared to uh, our processor that is newer in terms of uh, architecture, uh, arch ARM architecture, I mean. Uh, and at the same time, <coughs> with Arduino, you can't uh, manage uh, um, rich content application like uh, big screens or uh, strong uh, and heavy data processing, like uh, uh, OpenGPU application. Uh, so we think that uh, merging both together, we can offer a, a more, not a better, but a more powerful product. And another market uh, we, we are uh, aiming to is the educational market, uh, because we are trying to get in contact with the university or school all over the, all, uh, over the world to set uh, laboratories with uh, our board. We already have some uh, contact, uh, like uh, uh, the, the university. University of San Diego, University of uh, Pittsburgh, uh, Car Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh. We have got uh, Boston, and we've got uh, also the, nor the, the Europe, uh, in Toronto, and then in Europe uh, we've got uh, Aarhus in Denmark, uh, and uh, Stockholm in Sweden as well as uh, the Italian ones, uh, is the University of Siena, Pisa, Florence. Uh, so we are <laughs> very a very large uh, community yeah, crowd. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Sorry, I did ask specifically about the, the uh, price. Um, we're, we're the pricing of the... Uh, okay, the, uh, the pricing. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, of course. Uh, the sorry. Uh, the basic one is uh, ninety-nine dollars, uh, up to. Uh yeah, we've got uh, three versions actually. We've got the basic one uh, that uh, it's uh, dual, it's ninety-nine dollars. Uh, we've got uh, the uh, middle one, it's uh, uh, one hundred and all nine dollars, and uh, the the most powerful one is a uh, quad core. It's uh, one hundred and twenty-nine dollars. Right now. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, over there. No. <laughs> Sorry. Um, thank you for the talk. Hi. Uh, um, 
basically, I want to know the data rate that uh, this, if we connected this to a computer, um, how much can we push through? Uh, what is basically what is the throughput? Um, that basically depends on. Okay, so if you use a software-defined radio, uh, get some uh, wireless uh, signals through the Wi-Fi. If you c connected this to a more powerful machine, um, how much of these bits at what sample rate we can we can transfer? Okay. Yeah. It's excuse, excuse me. Can you repeat? It's this basically is really <laughs> a huge place we can understand. Um, the sample rates that we c that you can sample at okay. um, at the device. Yeah. If you use this as a software-defined radio, what is the what is the sample rate? Um, if you wanted to connect this device to another device, then you have to transfer this. Basically, it depends on the bus rate. I'm not really sure about that, but since I'm currently working on the same, not not the same, but uh, similar devices. Uh, that is basically my bottleneck. Okay. And I just want to know about this device. Uh, you, you can connect this, uh, you know, a few modes uh, with the serial, uh, with the uh, Ethernet, Wi-Fi. You can connect with, with SPI. There are very different kind of, of uh, connection you can have with your computer. Which, which one is the fastest and what, the is, fastest, the, uh, what is the speed? We have uh, a USB. Uh, that's oh, two, two or three? Uh, two. Two, two. USB two for a moment. Okay. All right. All right then. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any more? Okay. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, for more detailed information, please visit our website. Uh, you do.org and um, that's it. Yeah, we will invite you to <laughs> see the demos at, the, at our desk uh, in front of the workshop three. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye.